Hey, my beautiful souls. Welcome back to Finding with Jesse, the life coach. I hope everybody has been doing fabulous. So guys, we've been recently talking about reacting versus responding and how to really change that whole narrative and change the dynamic of things that trigger us. And uh, one thing to really keep in mind is when we are discussing reacting versus responding is we have to change the way we think, our mindset. So today I'm gonna to be sharing some philosophies, almost like mantras that we can really incorporate into our lives to make sure we're living more presently, becoming more mindful, resting in self-awareness. It also requires being able to think and reflect, critically think, not only about other people's actions, but our actions as well in the world we live in. That's a key element when we really are starting to reprogram our minds and getting ourselves to think more within our present moments. We're talking about a big part of regulating our emotions, and we're also talking about picking our battles, which brings me to philosophy number one that we really, really, really have to embrace, and that is that everything and everyone does not require our reactions. Not only does it not require our reactions, but certain situations and people are not even deserving of our reactions. That's a big one to really start taking in and retraining your mind to understand. A big part of maturating and becoming emotionally mature is to really be able to discern and recognize when situations or people are not deserving of the reactions that we are feeding into them. In my last video, I talked about the three P's and the elements that go into the three P's. Right, three P's are something I came up with when I coach other individuals in regards to changing how they react to situations. The big three elements, the big takeaways, and all of those categories was energy, peace, and distractions. And a big part of this also that you have to really think about is consequences. And that's something a lot of people don't think about when they are actually ready to react. They don't think about the consequences of how these situations can elevate and get out of control. So before you react to anything, you really have to consider, is this person or situation even worth my time, my energy, wasting my peace? It's also becoming aware of hidden agendas within other individuals when they try to get reactions out of you. A lot of people have hidden agendas. Some people just want to project onto us. Some people say things just to hurt us. Some people, you know, they require reactions because they're trying to control us. Some people are trying to keep us stuck, trying to keep us hanging on and going in loops. Some people lack the ability to regulate their own emotions and their own reactions because they have a lot of internal conflict. Some people they are so unhappy with themselves. Some people are so ugly inside. They actually have, you know, destructive spirits and they want to spread that around. And you have to be able to not let those situations infiltrate you. You can't let their bad spirit and their bad behaviors and their lack of emotional regulation and lack of control over their own actions and outbursts create and stir something in you. Like I said, you have to be protective. That's one of the P's. And understand when you give a reaction, what you're giving and feeding into these types of um, individuals. You have to understand there's a lot of people out here in this world who suffer from mental illness. They have a lot of emotional baggage and they're just looking to dump that onto other individuals. So you have to be cognizant of all of this. And that's why I say you have to understand the world that we are living in. Acknowledging this fact and really thinking and considering this would actually change your mindset of how easily and how willingly you're giving reactions to outside sources. Sometimes you have to be able to keep that on the forefront when you're ready to react to people. Which brings me to my next philosophy that you really need to embrace. Some people are not capable of comprehending or willing to comprehend your truth. Not everybody's operating from the same conscious level. Not everybody's acting from the same state of self-awareness. Not everybody is acting from the same state of emotional maturity, emotional availability. Not everybody's reacting from the same state of intelligence levels. Not everybody is reacting from the same state of communication. Everybody communicates differently. Everybody comprehends things differently. And there's some people who just are unwilling to hear your truth. 
So you have to be able to release expectations of when you react to something, how you expect other people to respond. And once we remove those expectations and really, really accept, radically accept that people are not operating from the same playing field, it kind of changes the way you are giving into reactions. Now this doesn't have to be reactions that are super toxic or troublesome. We can apply this mindset to even dealing with our own kids if you have kids. If you have small kids, you have to understand when you give a reaction to them, you are dealing with a child, right? So you have to change the way you are communicating with them because they do not have the emotional maturity, right? Or the emotional capacity to think like you. So once again, you always have to consider that before you react. You have to consider the person that you are reacting to. Do they have the ability to comprehend your reaction and understand where it's coming from, the background to it? Do they have the capacity to take all that in? And two, do they have the willingness to be able to do that? Because some people don't even have the willingness. My next philosophy to really embrace is to understand that your truth is your truth. You do not seek to validate what you already know. Now this is big for people who go in loops with people they are trying to prove a point to or they're trying to get a truth across to them or they're trying to get their opinion heard. Right? They're trying to make other people see their truths or where they're coming from. And the other people are just like, nope, I will not validate what you're saying. You have to understand that your truth is your truth. You don't need anyone else to validate what you already know. If you have a truth or certain knowledge that you know and the other person's not willing to accept it or they don't want to see that truth, you don't need validation from anyone. Just you knowing what you know is enough and that's all you need to know. And you save yourself the loop, the crazy making that people try to suck and vacuum you into. My next one, I rather choose peace over being right. That is a big one a lot of people could really benefit from. Like I said, a lot of people get sucked in these traps and loops of going round and round and round and round because everybody wants to be right. Here's a quick fact for you. When you're dealing with opinion to opinion, there's no right or wrong there. The only thing that, that could be right or wrong is when an opinion is up against a fact. If it is a fact, then it's a fact, right? And guess what? You do not need to go out of your way to show people that what you believe or what your knowledge is based on is in fact. If the interaction between two people are not, is not getting anywhere, then it's not getting anywhere. And there's nothing you're gonna be able to do to be able to show someone truth that they're not willing to see. So what you do in those situations is you choose peace and you choose not to give reactions and feed into destructive loops that are not going to get you anywhere. Before you react, think about what you're reacting to and think about would you rather be peaceful or would you rather be right? And once again, this is something that comes with emotional maturity. When we are much younger, we rather be right. We need to be right. And that's more of like an ego thing, to be honest. It's feeding our ego. It's elevating our sense of self-worth for us to be right. When you start getting older, you start realizing, I don't need to be right. I already know I'm right. Once again, your truth is your truth. And the only one that needs to validate that is you. You don't need outside validation in regards to your knowledge and what you know to be fact. Choosing peace over being right is going to get you a long way with those reactions. Another philosophy to always keep in mind when we talk about reactions is that reactions only push you further from your outcome. Think about it. In any scenario, you could apply this. And in any uh, situation, environment that you are working with someone or dealing with someone and you react. When you start reacting, they start reacting and it's just like it becomes like a counter attack against one another. So you have to understand that when you react and every time you react, you are getting further and further and further away from your outcome and the goalpost. Your goalpost is to communicate. And when you were reacting, that's not effective communication. It's not communication at all because nobody is listening to one another. No one is actually listening 
and no one's being heard because there's reaction on top of reaction on top of reaction emotions are getting heightened and it's just like it gets really chaotic and out of control and that's how people lose control in situations so you always have to ask yourself before you react if you feel that urge coming up in you is this getting me any closer to where i want to be the outcome that i want to receive usually this is very effective when you are in the middle of the reaction when you're going back and forth this yeah. is a great course corrector and if someone is unwilling to participate well, you have to stop and say wait a minute wait a minute let's put the pause button on let's put the stop button on and you have to really take a higher perspective and look at everything from a helicopter view and say what is this doing we're not effectively communicating let's take a breathe let's take a breather let's take a pause come back to something if you need to but going in a loop of reactions on top of reactions and reacting and being reactive to someone or them being reactive to you is going to get you nowhere that's not effective communication without communication being effective is going to lack significance and what you want is effective communication that is going to provide some type of outcome in some middle ground. If someone's unwilling to communicate with you and they stay being reactive, being defensive, continue with maybe a dishonesty, gaslighting, things of that sort, because that's what happens when we go in these loops of reactions. You have to be able to see, see that clearly, see that the person is refusing to participate in effective communication and be able to leave that situation. If the communication is not being honest. If the communication is not being fair and it's not being grounded, then you know what you're not going to get anywhere with it is not effective and that is the situation you want to remove yourself from and if it's a person that this is a constant with them you might you might want to just leave that person behind altogether depending on who they are in order for communication to be effective the other person has to be a willing participant someone's not being respectful in their communication by yelling screaming lying trying to rewrite history making excuses making justifications you know being reactive towards you it's going to be a doomed situation so there's no point in, in continuing to put energy time and effort into these type of dynamics you have to be strong enough to understand what you are what's going on in front of you and being able to radically accept what is and my biggest mantra and philosophy from going from reactions to responses or being able to calm situations down is to be able to understand and want to be an effective leader and not a follower a lot of people follow in these chaotic dynamics and it be, it's become the norm like this is the way a lot of people communicate it's okay to scream to yell to hang up phones on people to ghost people it's like people do all kinds of hellish stuff to one another and it just seems like nobody calls it out and it seems like it's okay so in order for you to be able to take yourself out of that loop and get out the matrix is to understand that you are not a follower you don't need to follow these dynamics you are a leader we are all leaders and that's the way we should conduct ourselves and leaders we do more listening than speaking so that's one thing you want to really implement into your communications and your reactions a lot of people are quick to react because they got a lot to say they got to prove a point this is the instance that you want to do more listening and less reacting and less speaking something else that leaders do is that leaders regulate their emotions we are responsible for our own emotions no matter how much someone is attacking us verbally no matter how much someone is putting us on the defense no matter how much someone is creating reactions and stirring up these feelings within us and triggering us we are still responsible for our own actions so you have to be able to regulate your emotions that's what a leader does a leader doesn't go out going around lashing out on everyone having outbursts hitting screaming you know laughing creating havoc and chaos and creating issues where there doesn't need to be any do not follow suit do not follow others who like to create constant conflict and chaos and reactive abuse in others don't follow it you have to be able to recognize it and say i see you and i'm not going to do that you are a leader so you have to be able to regulate your emotions and if it's hard for you then you have to make sure that you're putting it there as a personal development for your own growth maturation and sustainability in life 
leaders stand their ground and their lead by their actions they lead by their words they don't go following what everybody else is doing so you have to be the leader of your life not allow yourself to become a victim of chaos and conflict you are not a victim you are a defender so you have to remember that and this is a great one if you're dealing with narcissists because narcissistic people or people who have narcissistic traits they love to create reactions out of you they like to stir up your emotions and you have to understand that sometimes you have to walk away from those situations at that moment they are so prideful they are full of pride and ego and they think they got to you and they think that you're the weak one because you walked away and they think like i won this look they're being quiet they're afraid whatever goes to their mind who, who knows what goes to their whoever goes to their mind but um a lot of toxic people think like that they think the louder i become that means that you know i'm controlling the situation and i'm dominant You're like i got this right i'm a, i got this under control but the truth is the real truth is that you become the winner when you win the war not the battle the battle is minimum this is this this is the battle and this is the war you have to have higher perspective and bigger thinking higher thinking right elevated thinking when you're thinking about these situations how do you win the war in these situations well guess what you get to keep your peace you get to keep your energy you get to keep your vital resources you get to not provide ego boosts to other people your ego stays in check you stay in control your emotions are being regulated that alone shows how powerful you are and how you win the war because what these individuals and chaotic and toxic people love to see is someone out of control they like to see people stuck stuck on their words stuck on situations they put them in they like to see people uh you know suffer some type of consequence right they like to see you in emotional distress they like to see you in traumatic situations and know that their words or the situations or something they did really created an effect in you and when you walk away and you don't let that penetrate you you don't let it infiltrate your spirit you stay grounded you stay happy you stay peaceful you stay living your best life and you stay with that smile on your face and you're like whatever I, I, this is beneath me this person is beneath me this situation is beneath me and you keep on going as if they don't exist and nothing has happened it has not affected you you win the war and they stay stuck and what just happened here you reverse it on them you don't let it infiltrate you once again your job in the three p's and i'm gonna link the video above is to defend and maintain and keep and protect your peace think that they're winning the war they're just winning the battle and that's minimum and you know what give it to them give it to them it doesn't prove that you're weak it proves that you're smart and it proves that you are capable of outsmarting them and that's how you really win a war you win a war with your intelligence you don't win a war by your fist anybody could put up their fist anybody is quick to anger that goes to show very weak control over yourself the really hard part is to remain in control to remain in control that's the hardest thing to do when someone is triggering you especially if they're doing it on purpose willingly trying to create chaos and conflict and drama in your life and they get into type of enjoyment and so type of fulfillment or it makes them feel big and powerful when they do that and it's elevating their self-worth if you don't give them what they want and give them what they need you come out the victor because why you're a leader and that's what we're creating here we're creating a leadership over our lives and leadership over our emotions and leadership over our reactions do not give people what they seek and what they desire for their own self-fulfilling fulfillment. Don't do that. When you start asking important questions about everything you're reacting to, like, is this even important to me? Is this person even important to me? Does this really impact my life that I really need to react to it? Do not give people what they seek from you. Stay in control, be the leader of your life, be the leader of your emotions, and do not let anyone anyone try to come in and infiltrate that within you 
change your philosophy, change your mindsets, change the way you're thinking and understand that not everything and everyone requires a reaction out of you. So my beautiful souls, I hope some of these tips and mantras and philosophies really get you to really start living in the present moment, being really critical, creating self-awareness and how you react and what you're reacting to, to help you change the way you are thinking about reactions and help you start really taking control over your emotional reactions and creating more responses or at times no responses at all. Sometimes things aren't even worth our response and I hope we are learning to do better and be better and seeing things from higher perspective. I hope this helps anyone who's been really struggling with reacting. And I will see you all in my next one. Some kisses and smooches to you all. Bye my lovelies.